Hello and welcome to this service for Ascension Day, one of the major festivals of the church year. We're remembering today Jesus ascending into heaven and all that that means for us. We hope that you enjoy this service. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, for forty days we have been celebrating with joyful hearts the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, his bursting from the tomb, and his defeat of the power of sin and death. He appeared to his disciples many times and told them about the kingdom of God. Today we recall how he left this earth and returned to his Father, ascending into heaven to take his throne over all dominions and powers. Trusting in his reign over all creation and submitting to his kingly yet loving rule, let us hear the story of his parting. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles while staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait here for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptised with water, but you will be baptised with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, it is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set down by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going and they were gazing up towards heaven, Suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up towards heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia! Seeing we have a great high priest who has passed through the heaven, Jesus the Son of God, let us offer him the praise worthy of his name. Let us pray that our risen and ascended Lord will lead us to eternal life. Risen Christ, you have raised our human nature to the throne of heaven. Help us to seek and serve you, that we may join you at the Father's side, where you reign with the Spirit in glory, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Go and make disciples of all nations, says the Lord. Remember, I am with you always, to the end of the age. Alleluia. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. He said to them, This is what I told you while I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms. Then he opened their minds so they could understand the Scriptures. He told them, This is what is written, The Christ will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and repentance and forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. I am going to send you what my Father has promised, but stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. When he had led them out to the vicinity of Bethany, he lifted up his hands and blessed them. While he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up into heaven. Then they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and they stayed continually at the temple, praising God. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. We lost him three times. The first was on that day of unnatural darkness, when we toiled up the rubbish heap of a hill called Calgary behind him, a procession of the condemned. When we reached the top, he was tortured, and then life slowly ebbed out of him until he died. 
when his side was pierced by the spear, he was already gone. We were allowed to take his body away. We cared for it, entombed it. It was all that we could do. We felt total and utter loss, a great chasm where he should have been, guiding us, teaching us, helping us, loving us. That was the first loss. The second loss was a few days later. We had nothing left except that the knowledge that at least the body was safe, kept in its tomb, not too far away from us. Yet here now was Mary Magdalene, rushing into the room where we were staying, jabbering, witless with grief, telling us that the body too was missing. Some of us went to see, but the emptiness we already felt now had a physical form. The tomb with no corpse, purpose unfulfilled. It seemed appropriate, a second loss. Mary's madness seemed to spiral. Now she said she had seen him, talked to him, even tried to touch him. We didn't dare to believe. But then we too saw him, among us in that room, standing there, alive as ever he had been. Peace be with you, he said. And we felt that peace, even as it made us feel unsettled, unsure uncomfortable. Over those 40 days we talked with him, we walked with him, we fished with him, we even had breakfast with him. And all the time he carried the wounds of the cross on his body with him. He was more real to us then than he had ever been. He had something about him though it didn't belong with us, something contingent, as if he had one foot in the future, waiting for something more. The third loss was different. He'd taken us out near Bethany. He seemed preoccupied. Wait, he said, a gift will be sent to you. Be witnesses. Then it happened. The best we can say is that he was taken up. Really, our words cannot describe what actually happened because we don't really know. All we do know is that there was a cloud about us. And as the cloud gathered, he suddenly was gone. And we felt that he'd gone up not rising up like an eagle on wings or like the sun rising in the east, but up nevertheless. And it made us want to peer into the sky. As we did so, we were aware that there were two men among us who we didn't know. We didn't know when they'd come. It felt as if they'd been there all along. And they said to us, why are you looking up? He will return in exactly the same way that he left. That was the third loss. We often asked ourselves, why did we look up when we didn't know what direction he'd gone in? But we knew, somehow we knew in our hearts that he was with God in heaven. That physical, breathing, bleeding, feeling person was now together with God. Who we were was in heaven with God. He had been on earth, God with us. Now in heaven, he was us with God. That was the third loss, but it had not really been a loss, but a gain. He had been God with you, now he was you with God. Let us join our prayers with those of our Saviour Christ, seeking the Father's blessing and the gifts of the Spirit. 
Jesus Christ, great High Priest, living for ever to intercede for us, pray for the Church, your broken body in the world. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, King of Righteousness, enthroned at the right hand of the Majesty on high, pray for the world and make it subject to your gentle rule. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, Son of Man, drawing humanity into the life of God, pray for your brothers and sisters in need, distress or sorrow. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, pioneer of our salvation, bringing us to glory through your death and resurrection, surround with your saints and angels those who have died, trusting your promises. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, Lord over all things, ascended far above the heavens and filling the universe, pray for us who receive the gifts you give us for work in your service. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, keep the church in the unity of the Spirit and in the bond of peace, and bring the whole created order to worship at your feet. For you are alive and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Jesus says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. If you love me, rejoice because I am going to the Father. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then the disciples returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. When they had entered the city, they went to the room upstairs where they were staying. They were constantly devoting themselves to prayer, together with certain women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, as well as his brothers. As we wait in silence, make us ready for your coming spirit. As we listen to your word, make us ready for your coming spirit. As we worship you in majesty, make us ready for your coming spirit. As we long for your refreshing, make us ready for your coming spirit. As we long for your renewing, make us ready for your coming spirit. As we long for your equipping, make us ready for your coming spirit. As we long for your empowering, make us ready for your coming spirit. May the Spirit who set the church on fire upon the day of Pentecost bring the world alive with the love of the risen Christ and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you all, now and always. Amen. <laughs>